Mass is the amount of stuff or matter in an object. It never changes. So this Oriole ball will have the same mass, the same number of atoms, whether it's in Baltimore, Maryland, or Beijing, China, or even if it were to go to the moon or Mars. So to measure the amount of matter it has, we use a triple beam balance. First, we need to make sure that this line is lined up with the zero. This is known as zeroing. You can see that mine is not aligned, so I'm going to use the knob under the pan to get it to zero. So now the line on my arm and the zero are in a straight line. This is zeroed. It is officially measuring nothing. When I place the Oriole bird on there, the arm jumps up. This is because there's more mass now on this end, which causes the arm to move up. So I have to get this line to move down. We do that by moving these weights on the bars. We always start with this middle bar. This is the one that measures by hundreds. You can see each notch has a different number on it. So the next notch is 100, then 200, then 300, all the way on. So I'm gonna move this first to the 100. Notice how the arm dropped to the bottom. This means that that number is too big. So the Oriole bird ball actually has a mass that's less than 100. So I'm gonna move that 100 back. Next, we're gonna to go to the next smallest number, which is way back here which counts by tens. So I'm gonna move the weight to the next 10. Nope, and I'm gonna keep going until, notch by notch, I get it to drop. Not the 80. Oh, 90 is too much. See how it went below? So I'm gonna move it back to the 80 because now my, I know my Oriole bird is in between 80 and 90 grams. So the next step is to move this front bar, which counts by ones. These little ones in between are like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, also known as milligrams. So we're gonna first just try and get it to these whole numbers. You can use your finger, but you'll notice there's a lot of bouncing. I like to use a pencil tip or my fingernail to move it. There's not as much bouncing. And I'm gonna move this until the arm comes down and lines up with the zero. And just like that, it's in a line. You can see the line of the arm lines up perfectly with the zero. So we have zero one hundredths plus 80 grams plus 6.1, 2, 3. That means that this zero plus 80 plus 6.3 or 86.3 grams is how much mass is in that Oriole bird. So that is how you to use a triple beam balance. Um, and if you ever forget what unit it is in, it should be written on your triple beam balance. Notice each arm has grams because this one measures in grams, so it's got that little G there. Um, and grams is always used for mass.